Hey everybody, Margo from Team Epic Reads here, and this is the Sleeper in the Spindle tag video. <laughs> our first Neil Gaiman tag. I'm very excited, especially because this book, which by the way, check out this hardcover. <laughs> this is a retelling of Sleeping Beauty and Snow White together in one book. I would change The Little Mermaid and instead of Ariel going to Ursula and being like, yo, give me legs so I can like go get that dude up there. Ariel would be like, yo, Ursula, give me legs so I can become my own CEO of a Fortune 500 company. Tom Hardy's bed. I hope he watches this. <laughs> Um, Alice in Wonderland, I mean, it's insane there, right? You've got like a cat that disappears, some kind of insane tea party. I hope the cookies are good, there better be donuts. There's like Tweedledum and Tweedledee, and honestly, like, I don't really know what's happening with them. And then you've got like the whole Queen of Hearts action going on. I don't know, there's just like so many really crazy things happening, and I think it would be like really cool to live there. Um, this one's pretty obvious. Uh, the worst curse would be that I would never be able to read any book ever again. And then that would mean I wouldn't be able to read The Sleeper and the Spindle or any of Neil Gaiman's future books or any books in general. And I really don't like thinking about that. <sighs> Please don't let this happen to me. Now, Snow White gets to have a bunch of people just like do her bidding, you know, like she's like, oh, I don't want to clean the dishes. And they're like, it's cool. We got it. We'll do it for you. And Sleeping Beauty is just like, oh, I'm gonna sleep forever and still be really pretty and wake up and have a dude just waiting there for me. So I'm gonna go with Sleeping Beauty on this one because I really like to sleep. I actually had a really hard time coming up with an answer for this one because I feel like there are so many retellings out there. In fact, I did an entire infographic on this. There's 162 retellings that I know of when I made that two years ago. And since then, there's been even more retellings that have come out. So there's a lot of YA retellings out there. So I feel like it's gonna be really hard because then you'd have to go with something like really obscure, you know, if you wanna come up with a fairy tale that no one's done yet. So I'm gonna just go with, I would really love to read Fantasia. I don't really know if that counts as a fairy tale, but because it's a Disney movie, I'm gonna say yes. Um, so I would love to read Fantasia as a YA retelling. Now get this, what if Fantasia was a YA retelling as a graphic novel with no words? Because you know Fantasia has no dialogue, so it wouldn't really be a book, it would just be a picture book, but it would still be cool and I would still want to have it and it would be awesome, especially if it was illustrated by Fiona Staples, who does Saga. And if you haven't read Saga, you really should. Um, but yeah, so what fairy tale would you want to read? <laughs> now it's time to tag some friends. So I tag every single person that's watching this video. I want you to answer the questions. They're in the description below. Post your own video and then tag some friends and I would love to see what you guys say. I'm also going to tag two of our YA authors that have written retellings. Uh, the first up is Alyssa Sussman who wrote Stray, which is an original fairy tale but very much invokes some of the other fairy tales that you know and love. So I tag you, Alyssa Sussman, and I'm also going to tag Mackenzie Lee, the author of This Monstrous Thing, which is a retelling of Frankenstein. So not a fairy tale. But, you know, still in the same realm of Neil Gaiman and fairy tales and stuff like that. So Mackenzie Lee, I'm tagging you. Alyssa Sussman, I'm tagging you. And Sasha, I also tag you. And I can't wait to see your guys' videos. And don't forget to get The Sleeper in the Spindle. Honestly, it will make your bookshelf look so sophisticated. I mean, just look at it. It's Neil! It's Neil Gaiman! It's so good. Okay, alright, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye!